of dried and condensed milk, dulce de leche, toffee, black garlic, chocolate, toasted marshmallows, and roasted peanuts. 6 acetyl 2345 tetrahydropyridine is responsible for the biscuit or cracker like flavor present in baked goods such as bread, popcorn, and tortilla products. The structurally related compound 2 acetyl 1 pyrroline has a similar smell and also occurs naturally without heating. The compound gives varieties of cooked rice and the herb pandan or pandanus amaryllifolius their typical smells. Both compounds have odor thresholds below 0.06 nanograms per liter. Roast pork, browned using the Maillard reaction. The browning reactions that occur when meat is roasted or seared are complex and occur mostly by Maillard browning, with contributions from other chemical reactions, including the breakdown of the tetrapyrrole rings of the muscle protein myoglobin. Maillard reactions also occur in dried food. Caramelization is an entirely different process from Maillard browning, though the results of the two processes are sometimes similar to the naked eye and taste buds. Caramelization may sometimes cause browning in the same foods in which the Maillard reaction occurs, but the two processes are distinct. They are both promoted by heating, but the Maillard reaction involves amino acids, whereas caramelization is the pyrolysis of certain sugars. So now, what is the difference of Maillard reaction and enzymatic browning? Enzymatic browning is an oxidation reaction that takes place in some foods, mostly fruit and vegetables, causing the food to turn brown. Enzymatic browning is a reaction which requires the action of enzymes and oxidation in order to occur. Thank you for your reaction. Comment down below.